for our prayers of the people today. Uh, we want to be, of course, in prayer for all those who have been affected by this coronavirus. We think especially of those who are sick. We want to pray especially for the doctors and nurses who are caring for the sick. We want to pray for um, those who may be grieving the loss of a loved one due to this virus. Uh, also, there's been a lot of uh, economic trouble caused by the coronavirus. And so let's be in prayer today for everyone who's uh, lost a job or lost hours, who's lost an opportunity. We continue to be in prayer for our students who are struggling uh, in some cases to learn from home. Not everyone has access uh, to the internet or to a laptop. So let's be in prayer for those students, uh, for the teachers who are in many cases working overtime to communicate uh, with their students and to, to keep them learning. We also may be in prayer for uh, the members of our church some of, the, some of our church members um, live alone. They don't have a lot of contact with the outside world uh, on an ordinary uh, basis. But, but now with this coronavirus, uh, some of us are feeling really cut off and really lonely. So let's be praying for those uh, folks in our church and in our community as well. Okay. If you'd like, let's now bow our heads and let's close our eyes and go before our God in prayer. Father, today we come before you and we give you thanks for sending your son Jesus to, to, to rescue us from our sin. We give you thanks, Lord, that he came to seek and to save the lost. And today, God, we celebrate that, that he came to Jerusalem, announcing himself as the Savior of the world. Lord, we... we even now, perhaps don't fully understand how exciting that day was. But we get a little sense of it, Lord. And when your spirit moves in our hearts, perhaps we can feel some of that excitement too. Lord, we pray today that your son Jesus would be exalted, that he would be lifted high, and that not just his followers, but everyone uh, would, would praise him as, as, as the Savior of the world and their savior lord we want to pray today for those concerns that we've mentioned for all those who've been affected by this coronavirus and it seems that affected so many of us lord so many of us uh, have, have lost hours lost a job so some of us have gotten perhaps ill from this virus or we we pray for all those who are who are hurting in some we, we pray for those who are lonely and, and locked in at home Lord, we pray that you would be uh, close to them in a special way this week. And Lord, we especially want to pray today for the doctors and the nurses who are caring uh, for the sick. Lord, would you protect them from this virus so they can continue to care? I and mean, we continue to pray also, Lord, for our political leaders as they make decisions about how best uh, to protect the, us, the citizens, um, from, from the fallout. So, Lord, we lift up these prayers to you. We entrust them to you, and God, we we entrust uh, indeed uh, our whole lives to you. Would you use us as you will for your purpose this week? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, the time has come for our parting blessing. I believe we'll have a closing song, so get ready for that. Uh, make sure you have your lyric sheets out. But before we get ready to go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Amen.